child and no woman could take my mom, especially when it comes down to cooking. So any who y'all. Tonight I wanted to do a little pasta, something a little different, something I learned about. It's a secret ingredient that just gives the pasta a whole different flavor, y'all. Listen to me. Anyway, so I cut up some garlic garlic washed off my sausage cut that up throw some spinach in the bowl those are gonna be my main stuff that's gonna fry down i'm doing two meats i'm doing sausage and i'm doing chicken and i know a lot of people do their pasta a bit different but for me i have a technique that i like to use cooking is fun and creative so i feel like everyone should have their own way of what they want to do how they want to do it so on so forth so anyway here i am putting on my pasta and I'm going to allow that water to come to a boil before actually putting the pasta in there simply because I don't want the pasta to sit too long and get too soggy and soft and start to break apart. Yeah, yeah, grown and things. So anyway, I'm going to season up my chicken breast so I can pre-fry it, chop it up into pieces. And you know what, you know what, just watch the video and you will see. And y'all, I always like to base my meat with olive oil before seasoning, seasoning it. Basically, what the olive oil does is act like a glue for the seasoning. So, basically, it helps the seasoning stick to the meat. I know, like, chef, chef, but I know a son, son. So, any of y'all, as you can see, my chicken is seasoned. And I didn't even let that sit because, like I said, olive oil acts as a glue and holds the season to the chicken so i'm just gonna season that real good i got some black pepper some complete seasoning some paprika some oil base some garlic powder onion powder chicken with it yeah these things because i wanted to give it I, I like my flavors to be wild i don't like just the basic salt and pepper no no cooking should be fun like you know especially when you're seasoning chicken you could like do a lot of fun stuff with chicken that's what i love love chicken chicken is actually one of my favorite meats that's the steak yeah um my favorite seafood is salmon loves me a good salmon i'm gonna show you guys how i do my salmon one of these days but anyway back to the story so now we're gonna light our skillet i think this is a skillet or saucepan I'm going to drizzle a little olive oil in there, allow that to heat up. Once I get hot, I'm going to place the chicken in there and listen to me. Oh, I just love a pretty chicken. And you guys know chicken breast is very easy to cook. If you go wrong with chicken breast, then something is definitely wrong with you. But anyway, just watch it, just watch it. And you already know. When you're in the kitchen, you have to pour up a little drinky drink because the heat was hot in there, my friend. So, you know, I have to make it do what it do. Have me a little cold one. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to rotate them so that I'm going to rotate them so that they, the oil can, you know, spread all around the pan. And now that that water has come to a boil, I'm going to stick my fettuccine in there. Then I'm going to let leave that chicken for a second. Let that, you know, cook. And then I'm going to cut off the I'm gonna cut the chicken into pieces y'all sorry this food looks so good watching this cook all over again is like oh my god yum y'all won't believe how hard it was for me to find the perfect lighting but I did and it works for me and I hope it works for you guys too so just enjoy the rest of the video I'm gonna come back at the end when I get ready to put in the secret ingredient
Okay, so now that you've seen all of that, now it's time for the secret ingredient. So now it's time for the secret ingredient. I know you're wondering, nutmeg? What in the hell? Yes, nutmeg. So, story behind that I went to a Italian restaurant in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, and I ordered this pasta, and I wondered what was the flavor because it didn't taste like a regular pasta. And the secret ingredient was nutmeg. Don't knock it until you try it. That was a hit. So, anywho, the pasta is all done. Look at that. Scrum the yum yum. That was hubby plate. Look at. Listen.